I'm talking to Mario Moisey, who is the Vice Minister of Tourism for Brazil. And Mario is a very, very happy gentleman today. He must be one of the happiest gentlemen here uh, because his, the benefits from tourism are getting greater in Brazil. And also, of course, there's the Olympic Games and the World Cup. So tell me, how do you feel today, Mario, about all of this? And As you say, I, I'm very happy. Uh, we will host this event and we will benefit with them. Uh, I think the better benefits for, is for our population because uh, a lot of investment will be done uh, in uh, the Minister of Tourism will invest a lot in qualificating people, in uh, create jobs in tourism, uh, in uh, spread infrastructure that, I that is infrastructure for tourism but also for people who is living in our destinies, uh, in Rio especially, Rio will be especially benefited with the Olympic Games in 2016. Now you've got a real commitment to uh, to green tourism, and you were telling me earlier on that, uh, like the IDB, uh, you're doing uh, sustainable certification in uh, Brazil. You have a program, and when you're going to be investing money, that's part of it. So tell me, how does that work? Uh, we have a, a very strong cooperation with our Ministry of Environment uh, and uh, we are working hard so that the investments uh, that will be made uh, are in agreement with uh, sustainability and sustainable practices. Uh, in the hotels we are developing uh, uh, program for investments, uh, for financing investments in uh, hotels and this program will uh, demand that the investors uh, do practice uh, sustainable, uh, sustainable measures for the, their uh, investments like uh, ut uh, utilizing water, uh, low consumption of energy, uh, utilization of uh, cell, uh, solar energy and or uh, wind energy, eolic energy. So we are uh, uh, working a lot with hotels, but not only with hotels. Our roads and other investments will be made in, in accordance with the best practices. And we think also that we must educate people to respect the environment. Uh, this is a culture cultural uh, question, not only a question of investments. So uh, the, this question in Brazil is very debated uh, in media all, and all ar ar around the, the country and we think that all our investments and all our purposes of benefiting the population, the environmental, uh, will, be, uh, will be achieved. Uh, until we we host this big event. Yeah, well, it's, I think it's fantastic. And, you know, we can hear the sound of the bulldozer behind us in uh, in Astana. Uh, you're going to be getting to that sort of work as far as Brazil is concerned to uh, to make sure that you're absolutely ready for the Olympic Games. I mean, it's uh, it'll be an enormous investment in infrastructure and tourism infrastructure for you, won't it? Well, our country is already doing uh, big investments in infrastructure. We have a program of more than uh, 200 billion dollars of new investments in roads, sanitation, uh, uh, habitation for, uh, for housing for people, uh, and other uh, big investments in energy, in biofuels, and uh, other investments. Uh, we will increase these investments until the World Cup in 2014, and especially in Rio and to. 2016. Uh, in Rio, there's a lot of, jo uh, of work to be done. I think the world city, which is very, very beautiful, will, will, will become, if it's possible, more beautiful than it is, it and, is now. And you told me that in Brazil, they're great at having a party. And that's what you will have a big, some big parties now and indeed, as far as the World Cup and the, uh, and the Olympic Games is concerned, won't you? Uh, uh, sure, we we are known all over the world uh, as a people uh, as a people that 
uh, uh, very uh, with good hospitality and uh, very happy we do uh, huge parties but we want to do that uh, but in uh, uh, with our soul with our uh, way of life but also with professionality with uh, quality uh, of hospitality I think all people will visit Brazil from now to 2016 and after we'll be received in the best way that we can. Thank you very much.